Chapter 106. Giovanni paused for a second before continuing, I'll just send some members who have broken my rules to a mission. And tell them that I'll give them a new chance if they successfully complete this mission. At the mission, some Team Rocket members will happen to see one subordinate wearing a ditto mask of Misty. After they try to accomplish the impossible mission and fail, they will be arrested by the Alliance. When the Alliance realizes that Misty is very likely not a Rocket Team member, they will think that Team Rocket was trying to accuse the future talented trainers of the Alliance. Giovanni said with an indifferent face, after that, they will greatly reduce the credibility of low-level Team Rocket members. Although this method cannot be used with high-level Team Rocket members, it doesn't matter because you only met three high-level Team Rocket members. Lisa, Brand, and Maria, who recently became a captain. The likelihood that one of these three would be so stupid to sell you out to the Alliance is almost zero. And even if either of them does, the Alliance is unlikely to believe it 100%. Alex, who heard this, got little goosebumps. Giovanni apparently has no problem sacrificing his useless, pieces, for useful ones. And these, pieces, are not game figures. Although it's not surprising that Giovanni would do something like that, the thought itself was very unsettling. Besides, Alex knows that Giovanni didn't tell him everything. The Alliance actually has two options to respond to the accusation of the low Team Rocket members. First, they will lower the credibility of these kinds of statements from that moment and allow Alex to infiltrate them more easily. Or second, they will have a slight distrust of Misty and thus lose one of their future geniuses. No matter what the Alliance does, Giovanni benefits from it. Giovanni didn't wait for an answer and continued speaking with an indifferent tone, although that can solve this problem relatively well, you always have to enter the Team Rocket base with a new face. Fortunately, you already have Ditto, so I think that is not a problem. Giovanni took out a new ID card with a new face and name. He gave it to Alex and said, I will also speak to the three high-ranking members regarding this, so they will know about your situation. When he saw Alex taking the ID card, he said, as of today, Alex Stark's data in Team Rocket has been completely deleted. Although only a few people have access to it, it is better to play it safe, right? Alex agreed with this statement and thanked Giovanni for the effort he put in. Okay, enough about that. I still have a reward for you. Giovanni took out a piece of paper and a map from the drawer and wordlessly handed it to Alex. Alex saw that the map is of an island that harbors a lot of strong and rare Pokemon. Giovanni looked at Alex and said with a faint smile, I have no job for you as you are not strong enough yet. Thus you are free for now. But you still have a lot to do. Giovanni glanced at the map while speaking the last sentence. Then he ignored Alex as he continued to look at his papers. Alex, who saw this, understood that this chat was over and he should go. In addition, it was an indirect tip that he can get stronger faster on this island. Giovanni knows that Alex wants to get stronger quickly, so he doesn't even have to tell anything about this to Alex specifically. This indirect type of manipulation is quite impressive. He politely said goodbye to Giovanni, who continued to ignore him when Alex walked out the door. Alex, who came out of the door, saw Lisa's Alakazam in the hallway. He appeared to be waiting for Alex. Alakazam quickly went to Alex and, without waiting, teleported both of them from the hallway. Dot dot dot. Alex and Alakazam suddenly appeared outside of Lisa's office. Alex, who saw this, had a confused expression, and he looked in the direction of Alakazam. He thought that he would appear again in Lisa's room, which made him a little bemused. Alakazam showed a helpless face when she saw Alex's questioning gaze. She showed a gesture saying that Alex can go now. Alex, who didn't receive a reply from Alakazam, showed a curious expression on his face as he slowly left. Although Alex knew that he would probably see something extreme if he went to Lisa's office, he thought about what Lisa would do to him if he really did that. And he started walking away faster. After all, Alex could already predict what Lisa might be doing in her office after thinking about it a little bit now. And he would rather avoid seeing that. Dot dot dot. Alex entered the room and saw that Scizor, who was supposed to take care of the Pokemon egg, was standing in front of the TV and watching it while exercising. When he saw that, he knew that it was better to let Kirlia take care of the Pokemon egg. Even Ditto would be better than Scizor as a babysitter. Unfortunately, he needs the teleporting ability and the ability to change his face to save himself in an emergency. So he had chosen Scizor as the babysitter. He doesn't expect much from Scizor. Just that when the egg hatches, Torchic doesn't find itself alone. Alex looked rather annoyed at the Scizor that was training. When he saw that the egg had not yet hatched, he felt a little better. Alex wasn't mad at Scizor but at himself for the fact that he couldn't take care of the egg. He made up his mind not to go and train here until the egg hatch. In this expensive hotel, there is also a Pokemon training room that you can rent to train. Dot dot dot. Alex and his Pokemon just finished their hard training session, and it was time to relax. But Alex suddenly heard the sound of something cracking. 
He turned his face and found the Pokemon egg one meter away from him had started hatching. Torchic, who came out of its egg, looked at its surroundings with a curious look. This newborn Torchic was only 20 centimeters long, half the size of a fully grown Torchic. Alex took Torchic in his hand and said with a bright smile, Welcome to this world, Torchic. Torchic just curiously looked at Alex. When it felt the warmth from Alex's hands, it laid down on Alex's hands and looked at him. Alex put it on his lap and took the Moomoo milk bottle out of his TRH device. Then he started feeding Torchic like a little baby. After Torchic drank half the bottle, it slowly closed its eyes and slept on Alex's lap. Alex saw that he couldn't get up now, showed no annoyed expression. He looked at the info of his new family member. Pokemon, Torchic, LV, 1, Type, Fire, Abilities, Speed Boost, Hidden Ability, Gender, Female, Potential, Shallow Gold, Move, Growl, Unusable, Scratch, Unusable, Ember, Unusable, Innate Talent, Attract, Unusable, Innate Talent, Sunny Day, Unusable, Innate Talent, Overheat, Unusable. Alex saw the info of Torchic and made a surprised face. Shallow Gold, Speed Boost, Female, Attract, Chapter 107. When Alex lifted his head, he saw all of his Pokemon staring curiously at the sleeping Torchic. Scizor and Crobat showed no emotion on their face, but their curious eyes betrayed them. In contrast to Scizor and Crobat, Kirlia, Ditto, and Shieldon openly showed their joy about the new member. Kirlia was especially happy that she is finally not the only female in this group. Though she didn't say anything, she was looking forward to talking to Torchic. Alex said quietly, I can understand your joy, but we will wait until Torchic wakes up before we say hello. Scizor said, Humph, says the guy who has already said his hello. Kirlia heard what Scizor was saying, and Alex could hear a voice over telepathy. Alex showed a surprised expression when he heard Scizor's reply. He didn't think Scizor would be so jealous just because he had talked to her first. Could it be that he wanted to build a good relationship with the other fighting type Pokemon? Could it be that you were looking for a sparring partner? Scizor made a surprised face. What are you talking about? Why should I fight a baby? No, I mean that you want to fight another fighting type Pokemon in the long run. He just ignored Alex and started his training again. Alex just smiled seeing this, and thought, why do I feel very respected and not respected at the same time? Crobat went to Scizor to indicate that he had assured the win in this tournament. In contrast, Scizor told Crobat that he did not fight the strongest Pokemon and should keep his mouth shut. Then they started arguing relatively quietly with each other. Alex, who saw that they were showing consideration for Torchic by bickering quietly, didn't say anything and just smiled slightly. He forgot for a moment that these two Pokemon have probably killed more creatures than a serial killer. Shieldon, who is the youngest and is still a child in human years, showed a great curiosity when he looked at Torchic. Alex saw this and said with a smile, Shieldon, you are a big brother now. So you should always take care of your little sister from now on. Shieldon showed a surprised expression when he heard these words, but after a few seconds showed a serious expression. But because of his small size and age, this serious expression looked incredibly cute. Kirlia, who saw this expression, couldn't help but stroke Shieldon's head. Shieldon did nothing and let Kirlia stroke him with a happy face. Alex, who saw this, could only shake his head. He just hoped that Shieldon took his words seriously. He saw how it was quiet again and took out his TRH device to check if there was anything interesting to buy. Even though he had spent a lot of money in the past few weeks, especially after buying the TM Sandstorm, he still had a lot of money left. During the 12 days in this city, he sold a lot of silver Pokemon and made a quick buck. Although his money was slowly becoming scarce, he can always get more money by going to a new city's black market to buy, sell silver Pokemon. Alex's money, 359,800 TR points, 233,000 Poke Dollars. While looking through the items from the Team Rocket shop, he checked the limited items section. Among all the relatively useless things, one item piqued Alex's interest. Heart of an Elite Raticate, 10 twentieths. Price, 25,000 TR points. Even though it's just an item from Raticate, it was valuable to him. Every heart from a strong Pokemon is quite helpful, especially from elite Pokemon and higher. Alex looked at Ditto, who was playing chess against Kirlia, and knew that he can probably increase Ditto's potential with this. Although it was expensive and buying another silver Pokemon would be more efficient, Alex was willing to pay that money. He paid 250,000 TR points and waited to receive a transfer request. Now that his TRH device could teleport small items, he no longer has to go to the Team Rocket base to receive the items. After 20 minutes, Alex received a request to transfer an item. Alex put his TRH device on the table and accepted the request. After just a second, a small box could be seen on the table. Alex moved the box and accepted the next request. After repeating this nine times, there were ten boxes on Alex's table. 
He opened one of these boxes and saw a bloody heart lying inside. It had a cold aura like it was just taken out from the refrigerator. Alex didn't lose any time and put nine of these hearts in his TRH device. He knows that the temperature of the items stored in the TRH device doesn't change. Though he never cared about how and why, he went to Ditto and said with a smile, Hey, Ditto. I found a way to increase your potential a bit. Ditto showed a surprised and happy expression as he quickly ran crawl in Tarabang. Like a puppy in the direction of Alex. Alex opened the box and put a heart in front of Ditto, who absorbed it in his body without hesitation. It looked like slime was slowly dissolving its prey. Although this process was very sluggish, Ditto managed to absorb the heart. Alex knew that he probably had not increased Ditto's potential, but he still checked the info. Pokemon. Ditto. LV. 32. Type. Normal. Abilities. Imposter. Hidden ability. Gender. Genderless. Potential. Shallow silver. Move. Innate talent. Transform. E. Although he expected that, he couldn't help but be disappointed. Alex could only hope that he can increase Ditto's potential with the other nine hearts. Although only one heart can be eaten per day in order to make the most out of it, nine days are not really long for Alex. Chapter 108. Eight days later, it was breakfast time for Alex and his Pokemon. The atmosphere around the Pokemon was relatively good. They were looking forward to finally leaving this hotel and going to this island. The map and papers that Giovanni gave to Alex lead to a remote island in the middle of the ocean. The island is relatively easy to reach if you went to Fuchsia City and followed the papers with the help of a water type or flying type Pokemon. Although Crobat cannot carry Alex for very long, a few hours should not be a problem. The map is, of course, a map of the whole island. It also has marked the dangerous areas and rare Pokemon that can be found there. Even though it is only a map, this information can be very valuable for trainers who want to catch good Pokemon and become stronger relatively faster. There are 23 different areas on the map all of which are divided into green, orange, and red according to the danger level. Each of these areas has a strong Pokemon or a Pokemon group that controls it. If an area is green, it doesn't mean that there are no hazards in this area. It just means that there is no particularly powerful Pokemon or unknown dangers. As long as you have three Pokemon with an average level of 30, you should be able to pass this area safely, even without a Pokemon that can determine the danger earlier. Of course, you won't be able to find any valuable items or rare Pokemon. Orange area means that there are more elite rank Pokemon in this area and other dangerous. While it's relatively safe if you know what you're doing, it's not impossible to die there if you're not careful enough. The recommended strength for trainers is at least one elite Pokemon, a faster flying type Pokemon, and a Pokemon that is skillful in detecting other Pokemon. The red area is relatively unexplored and has unknown danger. It doesn't mean that this area is necessarily more dangerous than an orange area. But it has the risk of running into a level 60 Pokemon there with bad luck. The areas are labeled this way. Area 1 Hash. Danger Level. Green. Pokemon Leader. Mid-Elite Butterfree. Strong, but does not attack trainers unprovoked. Rare Pokemon. None. Rare Items. None. Dash. Area 13 Hash. Danger Level. Orange. Pokemon Leader. Low Elite Houndoom. Very fast and aggressive. Rare Pokemon. Houndoom. Nadu. Rare Items. White Apricorn. Dash. Area 17 Hash. Danger Level. Red. Pokemon Leader. Rare Pokemon. Aaron. Rare items. Low elite equals level 40 to 49. Mid elite equals level 50 to 54. High elite equals level 55 to 59. Alex, who is going to go to Fuchsia City today, was already looking forward to what valuable Pokemon he will find on this island. In these eight days in this hotel, Torchic had grown enough to start training. Although Alex didn't want to send her into a direct fight yet, he could now use at least light training for Torchic. Of course, not only Torchic had gotten stronger but his other Pokemon too. Though Crobat and Scizor were still at level 35. Pokemon. Crobat. LV. 35. Type. Poison. Flying. Abilities. Inner Focus. Gender. Male. Potential. Gold. Moves. Absorb. Supersonic. Astonish. Bite. Wing Attack. Confuse Ray. Swift. Haze. Leech Life. Mean Look. Innate Talent. Shadow Ball. E. Innate Talent. Fly. E. Innate Talent. Cross Poison. TM Protect, TM Toxic, TM Sludge Bomb, TM Facade, TM Taunt. Pokemon, Scizor, LV, 35. Type, Bug, Steel. Abilities, Technician, Gender, Male, Potential, Gold, Moves, Leer, Quick Attack, Focus Energy, Double Team, Faint, Fury Cutter, Wing Attack, Agility, Slash, Razor Wind. Innate Talent, Roost, E, Innate Talent, Metal Claw, E, Innate Talent, Brick Break. TM Protect, TM Toxic, TM Thief, TM Facade, TM Giga Impact, TM U-Turn, TM Sandstorm, TM Substitute. 
Pokemon, Kirlia, LV, 31, Type, Psychic Fairy, Abilities, Telepathy, Gender, Female, Potential, Gold, Move, Growl, Confusion, Double Team, Teleport, Disarming Voice, Lucky Chant, Magical Leaf, Heal Pulse, Draining Kiss, Psychic. Innate Talent Disable E Innate Talent Calm Mind E Innate Talent Dazzling Gleam. TM Protect, TM Shadow Ball, TM Will O Wisp, TM Thunderbolt, TM Thunder Wave, TM Helping Hand. Pokemon, Ditto, LV, 32. Type, Normal, Abilities, Imposter Hidden Ability. Gender, Genderless, Potential, Silver, Move, Innate Talent Transform E. Pokemon, Shield On, LV, 26. Type, Rock, Steel. Abilities, Sturdy, Gender, Male, Potential, Shallow Gold, Move, Protect, Tackle, Taunt, Metal Sound, Take Down, Iron Defense, Swagger. Innate Talent, Rock Polish, E, Innate Talent, Sleep Talk, Innate Talent, Flamethrower. Pokemon, Torchic, LV, 5, Type, Fire, Abilities, Speed Boost, Hidden Ability, Gender, Female, Potential, Shallow Gold, Move, Growl, Scratch, Ember. Innate Talent Attract, Innate Talent Sunny Day, Innate Talent Overheat. Alex started receiving 3 liters of Lugia blood and 1 Lugia scales with psychic power per day from Lisa, 30 days ago. He gave Kirlia and Crobat the items every day so that they could hopefully improve their potential. After 27 days, Crobat managed to reach the gold rank. And Kirlia managed to get to the gold rank after 29 days with the help of the scales. Although Crobat had already increased its potential, Alex continued to give the blood from Lugia to Crobat to make it even easier to increase Crobat's potential later on. Kirlia was a different case. Alex no longer gave the Lugia scales to Kirlia to absorb the psychic powers. He wanted to save it for when Kirlia evolves so that he can increase her potential more effortlessly. Although he knows that Kirlia will only absorb a small number of scales during the evolution process, it is still much more effective. Besides, he can use the remaining scales later anyway when Kilia has evolved into Gardevoir. Ditto also managed to improve his potential after absorbing 8 heart, which made Alex very happy. Unfortunately, not all Pokemon were able to rank up as Alex had hoped. Although Shieldon ate the 30 pieces of steel and rock from S Talent Agron every day, he couldn't improve his potential. Although Alex still has the steel plate from an S Talent Agron on the champion rank, Alex didn't want to use it. He decided to use it when Shieldon evolves. Alex guessed that Shieldon probably has 99 one hundredths points on the shallow gold rank and doesn't need much to get on the gold rank. You could say he is half-step gold rank, being just one step away from reaching the gold rank. Though that's just a theory of Alex, and it's hard to prove. Although Scizor evolved faster, keep in mind that he ate the lance and 30 pieces of steel. Which makes it difficult to determine if Scizor could have improved his potential without eating the lance. If he had known that Shieldon just needs a little more, he would have given the rest of the steel pieces from Scizor after he has evolved and not fed them to Scizor every day. But Alex shook his head after having this thought. I can't foresee something like that, and it would also be very unfair to Scizor because of the possibility of making his next potential improvement more difficult. Chapter 109 Alex, Kirlia, and Crobat walk the streets of Celadon City with happy expressions. The victory had specifically improved the mood of Crobat and Alex, thus making Kirlia even more joyful. Which led to this situation. While leaving, all passers-by looked in the direction of Alex with a curious gaze, and a few children went to Alex asking for an autograph. As the winner of the Kanto Rookie Tournament, Alex is now a minor celebrity. Especially in the city where this tournament took place. Alex felt a bit annoyed that he was wasting his time but fulfilled the children's wish and gave each of these children an autograph. Alex, who also wanted to have a good position in the alliance, wouldn't want to be appeared unfriendly. He has to maintain his image from now on. Although Alex is a Team Rocket member, he has not ruled out the option of switching to the Alliance's side if it's worthwhile. Team Rocket and the Alliance are only tools for Alex to become stronger and can be replaced at any time if necessary. Of course, he has to consider the consequences of that before doing it. It would be ideal for Alex if he can have a high position in both organizations. So that he can draw the double amount of advantages. After giving the autographs, he looked at Crobat. Crobat, who understood what Alex wanted to do, flapped his wings suddenly that created a little gust of wind, and people made some space for them. After that, Alex and Kirlia sat on top of Crobat, and Crobat took off. Alex, who looked at the ground and saw that he is around 50 meters high, showed no fear. Although it was very high, he knew that it is not dangerous. Alex knows that Crobat can fly faster than the speed he can fall. Which allows Alex not to be afraid of accidentally falling down. Crobat preventing the strong headwind made it a smooth and comfortable flight. When Alex was flying with Crobat towards Fuchsia City, 
he noticed many flying type Pokemon like Pidgey and Spiro flying in groups. And each of these groups had a strong leader who led their group, like Firo and Pidgeot. Alex, who was relatively far away, looked at the information about each of these Pokemon and found any Pokemon special. Although there were a few silver Pokemon in the groups, it was not worth it for Alex to provoke these groups for them. Especially when you consider the fact that the leader of each of these groups was at a higher level than Crobat. Along with that, Alex could only use Crobat, who knew Fly. And Crobat was carrying him, so it was almost impossible to win. Although he could attack and lure this group to the ground, it was relatively risky and not worth it. Especially when you consider that he has to defend against a large group of Pokemon too. Fighting against a group that is not much weaker than is incredibly dangerous. As long as you are not 10 or 15 levels higher than all of them, you should avoid such fights. They were now flying over the water, and Alex noticed Crobat looking at the water like inspecting something. The calm surface of the water hides a lot of powerful and valuable Pokemon that are just waiting to be found. Unfortunately for Alex, who does not have a water Pokemon in an underwater suit, it was dangerous to go close to the water. Although it's a shame because Alex has the ability to quickly discover the valuable water type Pokemon in this ocean, it was not possible for him currently. Hmm, I'll probably come later when I have a strong water type Pokemon that can protect me underwater. After two hours, Alex, who was sitting on Crobat and flying over the ocean, saw a relatively large island in the middle of the sea. Alex took out his map and compared the island to the one drawn on the map. Hmm, this must be the island on the map. Crobat land on the coast. The coast was a green area, which is a good place to land. Alex felt a little better after finally getting on the solid ground. Flying in the air for two straight hours is really not easy, even if you know that it is relatively safe. He immediately took out all of his Pokemon and warned them of the dangers on this island. Alex bought two months of food for himself and his Pokemon, so that they can train here for two months without having to fly back. He looked directly at the map to find out more information in front of this area. Area 3 hash. Danger level. Green. Pokemon leader. Low elite kingler. Strong, but relatively slow on land. Rare Pokemon. None. Rare items. None. He looked around the coast to see if he could notice any Pokemon from here. After a bit, he looked like a large group of Krabby and Kingler sunbathing at the seashore. Although Alex was very far away. But fortunately, Alex could see all Pokemon's information within sight and didn't have to get any closer. There's 14 Krabby and 5 Kingler. The Krabby are generally around levels 5 to 29 and have decent potential, that being deep normal through silver. 4 Kinglers are between shallow bronze and silver and are between levels 26 to 35. The leader of this group was quite formidable. Pokemon. Kingler. LV. 39. Type. Water. Abilities. Hypercutter. Gender. Female. Potential. Deep Silver, Move, Bubble, Mud Sport, Vice Grip, Leer, Harden, Bubble Beam, Mud Shot, Metal Claw, Stomp. Innate Talent, X Scissor, E. Chapter 110, Hem. Level 39 shows that this Kingler is not the leader of this area. But, she is of the same species as the leader of this area. So it is safe to assume that she is somehow related to the leader. Alex thought of an idea. He slowly walked with his Pokemon in the direction of the group of this Pokemon bathing in the sun. Kingler, the leader, showed a wary expression as she saw Alex and his Pokemon getting closer. Kingler is a relatively hostile Pokemon species. It's not a Pokemon that doesn't respond to provocations. She immediately showed a ready-to-fight expression when she saw that Alex was only 15 meters away. Alex just smiled and said, Hello there. I am not looking for any trouble. I have come here just to suggest something if you are willing to listen. Kingler answered in the Pokemon language, and Alex understood it immediately via telepathy of Kirlia. What do you want? Alex was happy to see that this Kingler was willing to listen to him. I want to trade some of the items of your collection. Kingler is known to collect glittering things, so Alex thought this group must have found many treasures in the sea which can be useful. Although most things are probably worthless, he doesn't think all of these items are useless. Kingler gave a sour expression as she yelled, You want my treasure? You can forget about that right away. This won't happen. Alex, who was expecting this, brought out a large bag of excellent Pokemon food. Excellent Pokemon food is one of the few edible items. For almost all Pokemon in this world, even ghost Pokemon can relatively enjoy this food. While it's not as effective and tasty as the food for a specific Pokemon species, it's not much worse either. Like the food from the excellent food line, after long periods of eating, it can also improve the potential of a Pokemon that eats it. He had bought excellent Pokemon food enough to last for 6 months. So that he can give the best food immediately to the Pokemon he caught. But now that he saw a Kingler, he thought of this good idea. Alex continued explaining his proposition. But I probably have something you would be interested in. 
Here, try it. He took out a small pouch and threw it in the direction of Kingler. Kingler recognized that this was not an attack and immediately caught it. She opened the bag with her claws and peeked curiously to see what's inside. When she saw food, she looked disappointed in the direction of Alex. Just food. You want to swap my treasures for food. She started getting angry at the end of the sentence. Even though it's food, it's a high quality food that you've never eaten. Plus, after a long period of eating, it can improve the potential of a Pokemon. I think you should understand how valuable this food is. Kingler was amazed for a moment after hearing this. Really? How can I know that you are not lying to steal my treasures with your food? You, humans, are known for your lies. I can't put my trust in you. Alex, who heard this, showed a solemn expression. You can easily find this out by eating the food. Although it may not improve your potential immediately, you should notice that this food improves your body slightly. Although I recommend giving it to a member of your group with poor potential. So that it is easier to distinguish whether it can improve the potential or not. Kingler showed a thoughtful expression when she heard these words from Alex's mouth. She took the food that Alex gave her and gave it to one of her nephew, whose potential was bad. Alex saw the Kingler giving the food to a deep normal crabby and smiled. The worse the potential is, the more apparent the effect of the food will be. And with a little bit of luck, Krabby might turn into shallow bronze Krabby this moment. The level 5 Krabby ate the food and suddenly felt his whole body getting stronger. He was thrilled with his newfound strength. Kingler was very good at assessing the potential of her species. She recognized that her nephew had really improved his potential right away. She showed a serious expression and looked in the direction of Alex's Pokemon. When she realized that Alex was a bit too strong to rob safely, she said, Okay, I'm ready to trade. What do you want for the food? Ah, oh, I'm not sure. Please show me what you've got. Kingler nodded and asked the second strongest Kingler to fetch her treasure. The Kingler immediately went into the water. Hem, it will take a while before he brings my treasures here. Alex nodded and said, No problem. While we wait, we can have our younger family members fight each other for combat experience. What do you say? Kingler looked at the Torchic and nodded. Then she said something to the Krabby, who had just become a shallow bronze Pokemon. Krabby nodded and stood in front of the group in a ready-to-fight stance. Pokemon, Krabby, LV, 5, Type, Water, Abilities, Hypercutter, Gender, Male, Potential, Shallow Bronze, Move, Bubble, Mud Sport, Vice Grip. 